tips for Six Flags Great Adventure and Hurricane Harbor. So one of the first tips that I have this week is there is a shuttle bus that goes between Great Adventure and Hurricane Harbor. Now the difference in the two parking lots is that over at Hurricane Harbor they have like this canopy solar power panels so that's probably a better place to park and then you can catch the shuttle over to the main park over to Great Adventure. The shuttle is free it runs about every half an hour it's not a big shuttle so I would say if you're going to do both parks what I'm going to do I'm going to park at Hurricane Harbor catch the shuttle over and then that way when I'm finished over at Grand Great Adventure, and I like to cool off in the afternoon, I'll be at Hurricane Harbor and then my car's right there. So that's one of my tips. One of the other tips is that at Hurricane Harbor, they don't have the little smaller lockers for a dollar. So they only have the larger full size $20 and $30 lockers. Over at Great Adventure, they do have the smaller lockers and it's a dollar for two hours. Those are not interchangeable between different places. If you want to have it interchanged between different places, that's $8 for the whole day. And that's only for Great Adventure. So one of the other things that I did this week at Great Adventure and found out, I left all my equipment and everything inside of a bag. Then that way when I went through security, I could just put that bag on the basket to go through. And then I just walked through. So my cell phone, glasses, anything else, I put that inside my bag. And then once I'm in the park, then I can unpack that, all that stuff. It just made it a lot easier to go through security and I'm not beeping. And, and then if I have to go back out to the car, let's say I want to get a, a snack or something from the car, I put my bag in a locker inside the park and then went back out to the car and then came back into the park and my stuff was still in the park. So I didn't have to go through the big security when I came back in. I just had to walk through because I had all my equipment and whatever else inside the park. Now the park also does sell these uh, beverage containers. They're about $30 and you get free refills for the season. Now I upgraded my park membership just so that I would get the, the border bottle and some other perks. Now the thing with that is you can refill it at different places but there are lines to get them refilled. There is a refillable station so you can use one of those to refill it with water. What I was doing when I went to one of those places I just got a lot of ice and then I just filled it up with water at the different places. So that's another thing you might want to think about if you have one of those bottles because even in both parks the lines were long. I think I waited in one online for 20 minutes to get it filled up and there's people in line with like four or five cups so if you're gonna fill your cup up I would say just get it with ice and then it's gonna melt during the day so here's another tip get there early the park opens up at 10 as far as the ride starting I'm not sure what time they actually start letting you in but they will let you into the park before 10 but the rides don't start until 10 so you can get there get in line for a ride, wait for it to open up, and then you'll be first. So that's almost worth it right there. Instead of waiting, you know, an hour, two hours, you can walk right in. I went on the Justice League. I think I was maybe the fifth person there. So that was good. And then after that, I went and got on Batman, walked right through. So if you're looking to ride the rides, get there before the park opens, go through security, get the app. The app is awesome because the app not only shows you where you are using the GPS, but you can kind of like see where you're walking to and it will show you how long the wait is for the different rides. So if you're looking to do a lot of rides, get there early, get the app and kind of plan out the way you're gonna go to your rides. They have them kind of strategically placed so there'll be two big rides next to each other. So Wonder Woman Lasso is close to Justice League. Green Lantern is right next to Superman. So a lot of times there'll be two rides. So you get a locker right near that ride and you can ride two rides. And the big news for this week is the Jersey Devil. The Jersey Devil looks like it's going to be opening very soon. They've done employee rides. They've done the, all the testing, all the preliminary testing. They put three cars on the track. When I was there, they were doing test runs. So it looks like it's going to be opening any day now. Did see a couple of the new t-shirts and different things. So Jersey Devil is happening and that roller coaster looks phenomenal. So on the next trip to Great Adventure, I'll probably be riding the Nitro and maybe Congo or something like that. Hold up. That's not the end. That is not the end. That's just just it for great adventure 
So this week I also ventured over into Hurricane Harbor and Hurricane Harbor is a water park. They've got a couple, they've got the, like the little lazy river there, the creek thing, and then they've got a big wading pool. They got a wave pool. There's a uh, changing room. So there is a changing room for men and women. Uh, it's just for changing and, you know, washing up. And then there's a separate restroom for men and women. So the, there's that. You can also rent tubes there. So if you wanted to do the Lazy Creek or whatever, you can rent the tubes. They have single and they have double tubes that you can rent. And I think it's like $6 for the whole day and then something else. Um, I'll put the price up there or something like that. So there's two different that you can um, that you can rent. And then they have the water slides. They've got a couple. I didn't ride any of the uh, water, but it was nice to just go over there and walk around and get, you know, dip my feet in the water. And, you know, go through the little water things and everything so that was hurricane harbor now they do have it extra if you want to buy these um chairs and different things and they have in a, a member area i would say if you're planning on going to hurricane harbor get there early with your people and get a spot you know kind of stake your claim because it looked like everybody that had tables and seats they got there early and they staked their claim and they put their stuff down. So they did some security tests. So it seems very safe. And uh, there you go. Hurricane Harbor. 